Welcome, mates. I am Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy, and we're back in action, highlighting a new update. Yes, there's a new update in Hell Divers 2. And in this update, we've got a kind of bit of juicy information when it comes down to weapon balancing and everything that we'll discuss right now. Let's go through it. So, the first part is the major update highlights planetary hazards being active. This will go in the form of fire tornadoes or meteor showers and many more. There's already Easter eggs being highlighted of the new faction arriving into the game through these means. So expect some uh, nice scenes to happen during your gameplays as you're running about. This can affect your gameplay in some way or just be aesthetic. We'll see how it goes with these environmental challenges in the game and how in-depth they actually are. Then we have the balance towards the, Eric, uh, the missions when you're defending. And those missions there have been changed from 250 enemies to 500. So it's gonna take forever to complete. Then we have the primary weapons as well. Secondary and support weapons being changed in some essence. We have the Breaker Shotgun being the meta weapon in the game, which everybody knows about, has decreased in its magazine capacity from 16 to 13, increased the recoil pattern from 30 to 55, so it's going to be a bit more jumpy. It will still be effective because the damage is still there, and I don't feel like it's going to get that bad. Like, you may have to reload it a bit more, but it doesn't even matter. Uh, the Railgun has also decreased its armor penetration in safe mode, decreased damage against durable enemy parts as well. So always put this in unsafe mode and make sure to use it properly in order to keep it effective at all difficulties against all enemies. And then the best one is, is the flamethrower. This is one of my favorite stratagem, we uh, stratagem weapons alongside the arc thrower. I've been saying that these two are really fun to play, but they don't have enough damage. And it looks like the flamethrower has been buffed in that aspect there. Increased damage per second by 50%. And I cannot wait to highlight this on stream today. So it's going to be a lot of fun to highlight it and make a new build for the um, the flamethrower and see how strong it actually is in gameplay towards charges and the elite creatures in the game. Then we have the laser cannon. This is just dog shit. It's a weapon that everyone knows that does nothing, but they've increased the damage against durable enemy parts, increased armor penetration, improved the ergonomics of the weapon as well. So I will be revisiting this and see how strong it actually is. But right now, I feel like it's still going to be a lost cause, but we'll find out as we go. And the next two primary weapons being the Punisher Shotgun and also the Breaker Shotgun have been changed as well. The Punisher having increased total ammo, uh, ammo capacity from 40 to 60, increased dagger force, increased damage from 40 per bullet to 45. So this is an overall buff for the weapon. Really nice scene. And the stagger force, um, the stagger force can actually make this kind of interesting when it actually acts as a uh, hit stun continuously as you shoot. So anytime you shoot an enemy, it's a hit stun. And that might be able to stop them from moving or pathing towards you. So I wonder how effective this may be against the large creatures, but we'll find out. Then we have the Breaker Spray and Prey Gun, which is a very fun but shit weapon before patch. They've increased the armor penetration, increased the fire rate from 300 to 330, increased the number of pellets from 12 to 16 per shot, which means that each pellet that hits does more damage or has a better chance of hitting one another. I uh, decreased the magazine size from 32 to 36 as well. So it's not too bad. I like those changes, they don't seem too bad at all. Uh, stratagems also have been changed to a certain degree, being the Meta Energy Shield Backpack increased delay before recharging. Depending how long this is, I think it will still be effective, but it won't be your only resort to keeping yourself alive in bad situations. You have to wait for it to recharge before you can go to the next situation. Also, 380mm and the 120mm orbital barrages have changed as well, increasing the duration of the bombardment and decreasing the spread as well which will make it more consistent and more effective when you go towards heavy outposts and big objectives. This is really nice. And there's another patch, or another bit of the patch, that highlights the benefit of bloody fixes. And they fix one thing here that is really standing out to me, and that is the armor rating. The armor rating value is now uh, reducing damage as intended. That has been fixed. It is actually in the game. You can run heavy armor, medium armor, and get the benefits of having that armor on, and that is so good. There's some other stuff that happened as well, as you see through this patch on screen right now. Honestly, just a bit of fixes for certain interactions that would occur that now have been fixed in some way. So that's good. And now hell divers do take damage from fire, gas, etc. joined by other players. I thought that already happened, but looks like that's been fixed as well. So you can kill your teammates with those dot damage abilities or stratagems. And there's known issues as well, but that's something for after. We'll be jumping to a live stream highlighting all this. So make sure to check out the live stream right now as we play hell divers too. If you're here right now, Glad to see you here. If not, watch the video, come back here and watch us play live as we discover everything and test everything in the gameplay today. 
And also, if you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lord of your game subs for 10% off, and also btlmerch.com. Show support, greatly appreciated.